One of the distros that I haven't tried in like at least two years now is uh, Manjaro, if you haven't read the title. And I just wanted to see like, how is it running this distro today? As there has been some pretty weird things that have happened in the Manjaro like community. And like when it comes to updates on this distro, there's been some maybe like odd things that have happened. But since some other YouTubers uh, do use Manjaro, uh, I think like Tekahut, I think his name is, he uses, Man uses Manjaro. I think, or someone else I might be thinking of. I won't really want to try this out because I last time I tried Manjaro was like two years ago and I was running an NVIDIA setup and it, it qu actually worked quite well uh, when it came to playing games. It was kind of like my first introduction to Linux as other people had recommended Manjaro a couple years ago as like an actual decent distro that you could try. Uh, but I, I decided to come back to it since uh, it's new release that they did do uh, this week, uh, which does include some, um, some neat things with the desktop, the drive, the kernel and I just wanted to try so this is my review of Manjaro now I just wanted to say quickly about some of the bad things that have happened in Manjaro in the past when it comes to development and sending out updates as I've seen this happen in the past like two years where there's been some certain things like security uh, certificates being like not renewed properly when sending out certain like packages for updates where those securities you know tickets or whatever they're called is not updated correctly and so, and I've heard that like it's happened like four times now. So that's one thing that has happened in the past with Manjaro. And that means like when it comes to the security of the distro, it's not really that certain that you'll get, uh, you know, a good enough security with the distro necessarily. Uh, but that hasn't happened yet in a while. It's been like a, a almost a year since that has happened. I think uh, someone else can comment down below if, if any of those things has happened again. But from my understanding, I haven't seen a single Reddit post about that issue uh, as it happened a while ago but it did happen like repeatedly so that's why I'm bringing it up as an issue as it could happen again at some point and probably one of the other thing is uh, with this distro is sometimes they like to release things a bit too early when that when that certain package isn't really ready I would say uh, so maybe like a certain kernel version that may come out uh, kind of like with uh, kernel 6.9 that just came out recently uh, they decided to do a big release this week and they added 6.9 as the kernel in the stable repo uh, which you know 6.9 is a uh, tagged as a uh, I think it's called mainline kernel so that means like it's not necessarily the uh, you know most stable kernel so there could be bugs in that kernel but they included it in the stable repo so that's one other thing is they may decide to um, get all excited and package something really quickly so they can be like the first one to do it when it might not be really beneficial for lots of people depending on your hardware you might have some problems that may happen because that kernel or Mesa version or pipe wire or the desktop environment is just too new and you get all these problems but besides that besides these issues that have happened in the past and have been, have happened a little recently uh, where can you download this? Well, you can go to Manjaro.com. Uh, and look, I got to say, they have a really nice website when it comes to explaining what Manjaro is. You know, uh, it says here it's lightning fast, it's easy to install, it's a rolling release, it's plug and play hardware, wide range of software and secure by default. Most other distros say this, but when it comes down to it with the past history of Manjaro, it kind of, though these kind of things here, they kind of, you know, they, they kind of get a little bit weakened because of the past things that have happened with the distro but you know you can pick uh, all types of different desktop environments when it comes to installing Manjaro and like it says here it has a wide range of software like yeah it has it has flat hub slash flat pack and it has the AUR and then it also has its own repositories with the uh, package manager which is called Parmac and this is where one of the neat things about Manjaro comes in where it has a stable repo a testing repo and a unstable repo so right now I'm on the unstable repo because uh, well I normally run on Arch Linux now and that's basically it's a rolling release so you get lots of new packages every day and unstable is supposed to be the you know latest of latest of a Arch release cycle basically and uh, but running the stable version uh, is completely fine but that's why I don't really like to run stable because of some of the things that Minjaro may do where they include a kernel that's too new and it may start causing problems uh, so like I'd rather run unstable because I will get new packages quicker 
for more bug fixes to actually arrive so that my hardware can actually work properly and I don't have as many issues. And of course they have um, merchandise also which uh, honestly doesn't look that great to be honest. Uh, I'm not a fan of it at all and they're using very generic uh, pictures that you see on some merchandise websites where they, they don't actually, you know, I don't think they actually paid this person. They're actually just like using graphics to print it on a t-shirt that isn't actually shot by them. Uh, but I'm not really a fan of it anyways when it comes to like the art, I guess. It's um it's all right, but it's not, not something I would actually buy. But, you know, they also, they like to team up with like Slimbook, for example, um, some other, you know, things that have happened like, um, you know, like the CTO, uh, new, a new CTO with the Manjaro company. So like they have a lot going when it comes to this, you know, who's is backed by and like who's actually controlling it. Um, it does seem to be rather like secure, I guess. Uh, but this is just where it comes to like some of the things that I just said before where, you know, certificates aren't being renewed properly, packages, uh, you know, getting sent out too quickly and then things break and then people will get all, you know, upset of like, why is this issue happening? And they have to be told like, yeah, we, we did this package update, you know, sporadically because we wanted to. Now, like I said before, there is a GUI store when you when you install Manjaro, uh, it's called Parmac. And I have used this before on like Arch-based distros, which you're not supposed to really do that because it's only maintained by Manjaro. So when it runs on Arch, it often breaks. So there's like no point in really using it. But on Manjaro, it's very nice. Um, it shows a great list of applications. And probably one of the other things that have um, happened with Parmac for some reason was when I installed Manjaro and I decided to install Steam, right? I, did, I installed Steam. I was like, okay, that was easy. I logged in, whatever. I started, tried to start playing some games like the finals, for example. That was like the first game I tried to play and it wasn't launching. And I was like, what the hell? Why is it not launching? And then I tried to launch CS2. I was like, okay, I, I'll try a native game. Maybe it's like a Proton issue. No, CS2 launched and it came up and said that Vulkan Radeon wasn't installed. So when I decided to install Steam in the Palmer GUI store, it didn't bring up an option to pick what uh, like driver packages you, you wanted to install for your hardware or for it to install it automatically for you, like detect like, okay, this guy's got an AMD card. Let's install the Vulkan Radeon um, packages for him so then he can actually play games properly with Massa. Uh, but it didn't do any of that. It didn't come up and say you can pick. It didn't, uh, like, on, like on Arch, it's usually what happens if you do like Paru Steam and then it'll ask you uh, what packages you want to choose for the hardware that you have. Well, on here, it didn't say anything. It just installed Steam. It didn't install Vulkan Radeon. And so I was confused for the past like 10 minutes. I was like, why, why, why are my games not working? I went through this whole process to find out that it didn't install Vulkan Radeon in the Palmer GUI store. So that's very um, interesting that it didn't decide to do that. It should have done that. And I've seen it come up before on like Arch uh, distros where it comes up with an option and it says, you know, do you want to install Vulkan Radeon or the Nvidia one or the Intel one? And I would usually pick the Vulkan Radio one because I have an AMD card and it would be all good. I'd be able to start playing my game straight away. But besides that, uh, you know, you can look through browse installed updates to see if there's any updates. You can go to your preferences password here and we can, uh, you know, change a bunch of things, change the downloads, the mirrors. So like I'm gonna pick Australia because you know, bloody Australian. And we can go to like advanced to check available disk space and then third party where you can enable the AUR. Now I wouldn't say to enable the AUR repo on the stable version of Manjaro. You can definitely do it, uh, but just like it says here, like there is a potential risk and problems that can occur and it's not enabled by default. So if you're on like the stable version of Manjaro, since like uh, Manjaro updates every month, uh, you might have issues when it comes to building maybe some AUR packages because they depend on newer versions of packages to like compile and build a specific software or driver. So when it comes to that, I would say you should be using the unstable repo or at the very least a testing repo if you want to use AUR. Uh, but you can definitely use it on stable. Uh, just be you know wary that you know something may not build properly because you're running on the stable version of Manjaro. And then as you can see, there's Flatpak, which you can easily enable and I've been using on my desktop and it's been running um, perfectly fine. The same has, has, has always been running on like every other distro that I try. Now, I guess one of the cool things about Manjaro and one of the things that like people really like is the Manjaro settings manager. So when it comes to, if you want to install a different kernel, for example, or if you want to 
to uh, let's say let's say here like you want to change some user accounts or the hardware configuration so if we go to kernel first we can open this uh, one thing they should change is these icons um, it looks like it's from 2010 uh, you know uh, they want their icons back I, th I think you can, <laughs> I think you should definitely uh, change this uh, but if we do click on kernel we can uh, pick different kernels so for example I have kernel 6.8.10 installed as like a backup if I have issues on 6.9 and then yeah I'm, I'm using 6.9.1 and it says that it's running as the used kernel at the moment so that's really neat that you can just like do that and install even though like I know that you can just like open a terminal window do paru uh, linux and then you can look at all the kernels that are available and then just install the kernel and then the kernel header and then that's it that it's installed but if you're like someone who doesn't want to open the terminal you just want to go to a gui uh, that's a really easy way of doing it it does it all for you and then you just restart you hold down shift to bring up the gob grub menu and then you can pick the kernel and then you know uh, bob's your uncle it works you know <laughs> And then like it has the hardware configuration. So when we open this, it will tell you, you know, uh, what, uh, you know, what GPUs are being used at the moment and like what drivers uh, are, are being used. So as you can see here, I have my uh, RX 6700. Uh, mine's in like a category of different GPUs that uh, it supports. Uh, so like you can see here, I've got the open source ones installed. And then it also uh, did enable or install my integrated GPU that I have on my CPU, which I didn't have before because I was on older build uh, and I upgraded recently so it has uh, integrated graphics so that also did come up so like that's pretty cool you can do auto install open source drivers and it will install it for you so I think that's really cool that they do have this it makes it really simple and easy to just like you know if you have an issue you can just open that install the drivers and boom you're basically done you just restart and it's you know it will be uh, enabled now let's say you are running Minjaro and you want to switch your repos let's say to testing or unstable you can go to this link here I will, i'll link it down below where you can uh, learn how to do it but if we have a look here uh, it does have the uh, terminal command to do uh, we just do sudo pacman dash mirrors space dash dash api space dash dash set dash branch and then you would type the branch now i don't know why this brackets in it uh you don't have to add the brackets so the brackets actually will not make it work but basically i'm on on unstable so i would just type stable if you want to do testing you just do testing and if you want to stay where you or if you actually if you want to go back you can also uh, use this command and then you can do the commands right down below where it will uh, you know update your mirrors and then it will do a update and just make sure that everything is replaced and there's no any uh, problems and like I said if you want to go back so let's say you want to go to testing or stable from unstable or if you're on testing you want to go back to stable uh, then you can do uh, sudo space pacman space dash s y u u or capital s and then lowercase y u u and that will uh, clean things up for you and then yeah if we do uh this one here uh and we do pretty sure this will work and yeah as you can see here if we do this command it shows that i'm on the unstable repo now i did decide to upgrade uh, my cpu recently as it was my birthday so i upgraded from am4 to am5 i had a 3700x before and i upgraded to a uh, Ryzen 7600 and that means I had to upgrade my memory also so I got a 32 gig uh, DDR5 kit at like I think it was like 5000 something uh, megahertz and it was like CL40 which does the job just fine and um well was there any issues when it came to upgrading that and no I I, you know, I had to get a whole new motherboard the CPU the memory and there was no problems uh, I uh, installed it uh, and then I put my NVMe drive which had Minjaro installed on it and I booted Minjaro back up and it was working perfectly fine it detected everything including like the integrated gpu and um all the you know system information of what was um being used and yeah there was no no problems that i've had with manjaro when doing an upgrade or uh just in linux in general when it comes to upgrading your hardware in linux it's actually pretty good and i've only had one problem and that was when i upgraded my um, nvidia gpu to an amd gpu and i forgot to remove the nvidia drivers and and the AMD card couldn't boot properly into uh, the distro, which was Fedora. So we had to do a clean install. But besides that, uh, there's been no issues when it comes to, you know, if you want to upgrade your motherboard on 
Manjaro or any Linux distro, as long as it's running like, you know, the newest kernel and like, you know, the newest Mesa, if you're like running an AMD card or something you want to upgrade, um, then yeah, there shouldn't be many problems. And what about gaming on Manjaro? Well, there's no real problems because, well, it's on kernel 6.9.1 and then I'm running Mesa 24.0.7, I think, or dot eight, some other, I think it's dot seven. Dot eight, dot eight doesn't come out till the 22nd, so it would be dot seven. And yeah, there's been no problems when it comes to playing games. I played the finals a lot. I think I played like over 20 or 30 hours, something like this week, which is really unhealthy, but um, I've been really enjoying playing that game and I've been helping people out in the finals Discord text channel as well with Linux stuff. So um, if you do have problems with the finals, uh, we do like actively talk in the uh, Linux help center text channel. If you can find it in the finals Discord channel, it is there somewhere. <laughs> Uh, but we do talk over there so if you do have problems you can definitely go by and there's a lot of people that can help you including me who will um, try and help you get it running uh, but yeah I played the finals I also played Overwatch 2 um, I think that's all that I played I oh, know I played Halo Infinite also and I yeah there was no real issues when it came to playing games on Manjaro with an AMD GPU so my conclusion with Manjaro is that it's a conflicting distro you know the title is like Manjaro review underrated misunderstood and I wouldn't say it's misunderstood. I think it's had a lot of bad, you know, things in the past. And I don't think, you know, this comes down to like, I don't know, personal values with like, can people, can projects be forgiven for the things that they do wrong? And I think that um, with Manjaro's case, no, because uh, it's happened too many times. Unless you like take out all the con like contributors and the people in the community who continue to you know, muck things up or bring in things too early, uh, then, Manjaro isn't really gonna go anywhere necessarily when it com comes to the desktop uh, place. I think I know like Manjaro is partnering with a handheld company, is the Orange Pi Neo uh, that's coming out soon, or it's already out in China and it's running Manjaro with like a Steam OS uh, UI on top of it. And people will be, seem to be loving that, and I I definitely do agree. It probably would run really well. And besides like the like I said the, the past issues with Manjaro, it's a decent distro. Like I'm running it on on. Stable. It's a it's a decent distro, but it's just these little things, these little nitpicky things, where it's like the Vulcan wasn't installed when I installed Steam, the past experiences with like the security certificate stuff, and then also when when I was running it on Nvidia, I think like at one point uh, the Nvidia drivers broke because I wasn't using DKMS at the time. I don't think that was even a thing like three, two, two and a half years ago or something like that. Uh, so like oftentimes Manjaro would like break under the Nvidia drivers. So it was just like, yeah, like I said, it's it's conflicting. I would definitely try Manjaro out for yourself and, and see what what you think about it. Uh, you know, I would definitely like to see comments down below to see if you, know, you guys enjoy using Manjaro and your thoughts on Manjaro. Uh, I definitely do think it's a it's a decent distro, but like it, it has it has problems uh, that have seemed to have been sorted out. Kind of, I uh, would have to see in the future to see if Manjaro mucks up even more with different package updates or security updates or uh, you know if they make any more confusing merch that doesn't really look appealing to anyone <laughs> but um yeah that's about does it for this uh video if you guys did enjoy uh this video i mean reviewing manjaro uh definitely would give it a like you definitely can subscribe to the channel we're over like 4,000 subs which i do greatly appreciate all of you are uh, subscribing it's, it's really awesome that you guys have um stuck through with all my videos that I've been making and uh, thank you to my supporters as well I'll show up a screenshot of them uh, thank you uh, all of you for supporting the channel you can definitely uh, support the channel if you want to uh, it's basically like right down below near the sub buttons like members or something like that it's only like a dollar forty something I can't really remember it, but it is pretty cheap I would say so if you want to support me uh, you definitely can but most importantly I wouldn't be supporting me I would be supporting the you know the projects that make Linux desktop and you know an actual vibe platform for us like KDE Plasma, like GNOME, like Pop! OS with System76's Cosmic Desktop that's coming out soon, Mesa, the kernel developers, try and you know, give some money to them because they're a non-profit, they don't, they don't actually earn really any money from many companies necessarily uh, based off some of the interviews that I've watched but besides that I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.